Why, hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and cover a pretty cool game that I've been playing. It's like an MMO ARPG hybrid, um, which is called MU Legends. Uh, it is kind of like, uh, I don't want to say a remake. I don't exactly know what the tie is between the old MU from like 2002 or 2003, whenever it came out, but it is by the same developers, WebZen, um, if that means anything to you guys. I never really played MU, like I said, back in the day. But, I want to cover what I do know about this current game. So, I'm not going to be speaking out the cash shop. Um, the cash shop in the game, I haven't touched it yet. I can't speak about end game. I'm not end game yet. Uh, but I am level 40 with soul level 34. So, let me introduce a few things to you guys. So, first off, I am playing a class called the... Uh, I think it's called the War Mage. And the War Mage has two different ways it could go with its build. You could either decide to use a staff or a sword. A sword and grimoire. If you use a staff, you have the following three skills. If you use a sword, you have the following three skills. So staff would be, uh, you have chaos orb, which is your auto attack, which could also be changed out for energy explosion. And then I think could also be changed out for whatever shockwave is as well. Assuming these are all generators, like MP generators basically. Um, this, I don't know if I have a magic sword to show you guys, so I can't specifically show you at the moment. But this is basically, you keep all the same skills down at the bottom here, but you change out your auto attacks for, uh, you know, depending on the weapon type that you're using. And I am limited to using these two weapons. Next up would be your class skills. Uh, these are given to you no matter, no matter which type of weapon you're using, uh, and they unlock just simply by level. You can see uh, this is 48, Mono Racer's at 52, um, this shit's at 56, and we've got another one at 61. Furthermore, you get an expert skill, which is really, really cool. Um, and expert skills are like ultimate skills, kind of. So if you look at what I have here, you can see I either can go Confusion or Wallop. Um, and they both give me additional stats. They both come with a passive, and they come with an active. So... Expert skills, in my opinion, are like super, super fun for customization. It's almost like like another class, not like another class, but it's like, it's a pretty huge difference uh, from what I've seen, at least with my character with expert skills. So that's what I'm looking forward to at level 45. That's pretty much how the skill system works. Uh, one other thing to take into account is you can customize them a little bit here. So as you get further into the game, you unlock like little rune slots for them. They're called skill masteries. And you can use gems to put on them to augment their damage. So like magic attack, skill duration, MP cost, attack speed, fire coefficient, crit rate, crit damage, vice versa. I do believe you can find higher tier ones than these in dungeons and whatnot and you can socket them in, I think. I could be wrong there as well. Uh, because I do have like this for a Dark Lord, which I don't know exactly how it works, but... oh. Okay, I can't really hover over it again now. Alright, let's talk about the next one which you guys may be more familiar with. This is called the, uh, you like your soul experience. Now, the original MU had a lot of, like, rebirthing where you hit, like, max level and then rebirth again. I don't know how that works in this game, but I just want to show you, again, what I know from this. So this is kind of similar to the Diablo 3 Paragon. Um, you have, you know, kind of like a secondary bar of experience, which would be my soul level. And, uh, I can respec here. It's not really that expensive. It's... It, it keeps going up in price, I think. It's like 30k. I mean, after playing for 8 hours, I'm up to 750k, so it's not really any issue. Um, but uh, the cool thing about the Paragon is that every time you put 30 points into it, you unlock a little talent. So, for example, I'm full MP recovery, and my main weapon skills restore 50% more MP. That's pretty, that's pretty significant. Um, you know, there's one for movement speed, cooldown reduction, base mana, MP recovery, uh, duration of CC, money, XP, magic find, physical defense, magical defense, health, HP recovery, physical attack, magical attack, crit rate, crit damage, and they do have lifesteal in the game. Um, just as an example, health does give you a 0.1% life leech. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but the fact that there's life leech here means that they can incorporate it into the game. It's, it's part of the game. All right. So, since all that is kind of done, I want to show you guys a little bit of uh, some flashy skills. Um, and then I'll probably go right into a, I guess, well, I mean, I can't really do a dungeon right now. What I can do is, uh, the next video I get, which will be later today, I'll just take a Twitch clip of me running a dungeon, 
and I'll just upload that and you'll get better quality than what you see right here. Um, but let's go ahead and go through the actual skills. Now everything here is going to die pretty quickly. I just want to go out and show you guys. Questing is not really very difficult. Let's be honest. In any game you play, questing is not really going to be difficult. Don't judge the game based off the first five minutes of gameplay that you see. Um, you know, the game is free to play. It's in a closed beta right now, which is free to get into. You just have to go to like MMO Hut or MMO Bomb and take some keys and boom, you're good to go. That's all you got to do. Uh, there is an option to zoom by using the middle mouse cursor as well. Now, one other big part about MU is it's really reliant on your wings. There's four different base wings that I saw and a bunch of different ones you can craft. And your wings kind of determine how far into the game your progression is. What I mean by that is your wings will constantly upgrade throughout the course of the game. Um, I don't know too much about that, but I know that as well because I was asking around if like I can get more movement speed because I feel like my character is really slow, and you can. Uh, wings will end up adding movement speed to you based off of what the uh, WebZen team said, so I was pretty excited to see that. They said like quite a significant increase, and I think the game is actually lagging right now and I can't actually go anywhere. Okay, yeah, the game is frozen right now, so I'm just going to show you the skill effects while we wait. So my first skill that I got was, uh, to start off with is Radiant Lightning, which is a channel. And the longer I channel it, the more pissed off it gets, and it normally would drain mana, but we're bugged right now. <laughs> my number two is my Elite skill, um, which basically sends out a shit ton of ghosts, and this will hit an area of about this big. It's almost the whole screen that it hits. Uh, it also absolutely destroys my MP. My next one is going to be, um, Fire Curtain, which is one of my favorite skills which shoots out a nice line of fire and uh, enemies take 240 magic damage and a continuous 125 which is really really strong actually compared to like well, I guess it's like as strong as my other skills but then we've got cold murder uh, which is quite a bit of damage and is a PBAOE stun it says in front of you but I'm pretty sure it's a whole area around you next up is my blink which actually deals quite a bit of damage and allows me to blink upward it does make you invisible as well for 1.5 seconds and then we've got the standard left click and then the right click as well, which the right click puts like a little AOE circle underneath and then it goes pop. I'm more of a fan of using uh, Chaos Orb though. Oh, not Chaos Orb, sorry. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I can't switch skills right now. Re? Oh, I actually got Shockwave. When did I unlock Shockwave? I didn't even get to see it. Well, let's, let's read Shockwave. Uh, drops a condensed energy concussion bomb that inflicts AoE damage in a specific location at 135% magic attack and decreases movement speed by 15% for 3 seconds. I honestly, probably going to use Shockwave over the other skills. So what is this one then? Oh, Torment Wave isn't yet. Radiates a pain, uh, afflicting energy, and it inflicts AoE damage to enemies in front of you at 140% magic attack, has a chance of generating waves that inflict additional magic damage on 3 surrounding enemies. I really want to try out Sword. I feel like sword is going to be a lot of fun, um, but uh, I have to find an actual good weapon first, unfortunately. I have to check out this stuff after. So unfortunately guys, I'd like to actually show you some content, but it doesn't look like the servers are going to allow me to show you guys some content right now. So like I said, I do apologize. Uh, I will show you guys some combat in an upcoming video. Um, I would show you it here, but there's literally nothing on the map because it's bugged right now. Um, but if you just stay tuned in a couple of hours, check out the YouTube and you'll see, like I said, uh, a dungeon run of me going through. Either I'll do it with a solo run or a party one with multiple people. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me down below and I'll do my best to answer them. But do remember that this game just came out in the beta. I don't really know much about it. So a lot of people are getting really snappy and edgy at like wanting to demand things. And it's like, dude, the game just came out. But we don't know yet. We're here just to have fun. You got to relax, you know. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. If you did like the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys had a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.